If you are a God pretending that you are a man, you would know who you are, and it could not do anything for you. You have to completely empty yourself of all that you are, your wonderful divine form, your heavenly rank, and actually come down and suffer total amnesia, and believe that you are a man to experience death, for all men die. So I say you are God, sons of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, you will die. You will die like men. And fall as one man, O princes, one man who is God the Father, containing all, came down. And now, through the act of the crucifixion, we are now transformed. And from the crucifixion we are exalted to the Father. So when you rise, you're not rising as the Son of God. You're rising as God the Father. And what is the Son then? If we're all then God the Father, and if he's a Father, then where is his Son? Humanity is transformed. And the whole of humanity is symbolized in the single youth called David. And David is the son of the father. You are the father of David. You do not know it yet, but you will know it. When you see him, there is no uncertainty as to this relationship between you, God the father, and your son David. You might think the whole thing is a legend. Well, it is. Man can fall in love with a legend. Israel fell in love with David. I mean David, the son of Jesse. And Jesse means Jehovah exists. He's the son of Jehovah who is. Any form of the verb to be, which is I am. And the day will come when you've completed the journey. He will stand before you and call you father. And you will know you are his father, and he will know he is your son. There will be no uncertainty as to this relationship between you, God the Father, and your son David, who is the essence of humanity. If you took all the generations of men, and all of their experiences, and simply condensed it into one single being and personified that being, it would come out as David. So having gone through the gamut, all that man could ever conceive,